No, they're not. This is this is it. They're not, <laughs> this is over. Damn. Well, kind of poopy. I don't know. It's just to me, it just it doesn't make a lot of sense to not have it. But then again, the whole showcase was kind of weak, if I'm being honest. Like, again, take factions two out of the equation. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. I well, the thing is, I knew it might not. I thought him. I, I kept going back and forth on whether it would show up or not. But the thing is, I thought if it's not showing up, that means they. I mean, they must have a bunch of other stuff to show off. I mean, like people were talking about Uncharted. People were talking about Ghost of Tsushima. Like all this stuff. I, when you end it with like they should have opened with Spider Man. They they ended with Spider Man. I think that tells me. Well, first of all, it tells me that okay. I don't want to get ahead of it because. We do have Summer Games Fest. We do have the 10 year anniversary, but I also think this was the time to do it. So I kind of, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what to expect on those two at all. I, I don't think, honestly, don't think we should clown up for those <laughs> events. Summer Games Fest only makes sense in that they showed it off last year there. I mean, I could also kind of see like Naughty Dog wanting like their own separated out thing which could be a justification for the 10 year anniversary. It's June 14th. Here's the thing. I think the for, on the 14th, they have to talk about it. I don't know what they'll do if they'll, sh if they'll show anything or not, but by that date, I think they, I don't know, like, do they know that people, it's like they're stringing people along here, you know? Do they know that that blog post is like heavily implying some stuff we can wait till dude i don't know i'm like i just to me this felt like the one this felt like where it should have come up i'm like very less certain about the other two events it only makes sense okay summer games fest only makes sense from the angle that they did it last year and then 10 year anniversary only makes sense from the point that they might want their own event we knew we knew we've been burned before <laughs> so we knew it could happen, but it, ah, it's just like another time, you know? Well, yeah, they did at Summer Games Fest last year. They said, we'll hear a lot more about this game this year. So it's just a matter of when this seemed like the moment. Um, and then in the blog post earlier this year, they said, well, they said there'll be some fun surprises as, you know, as we lead up to the 10 year anniversary. So, I mean, there's only a few weeks till that. And there hasn't really been fun surprise um but that later this year they'll say something so it's just I, I mean it's a matter of when we should still expect it this year but it's hard to play this game of it's hard to think of like when it actually makes sense to do it and considering that they during the showcase showed off three other live services makes me kind of think yikes it might you know it might not be the uh first first to show up like we kind of all assumed Yo, thank you for the subscriptions, Joe Bob and James. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think they canceled the game, but I mean, there was news today that like Bungie's going around. There was a VGC article it says like Bungie's going around heavily vetting all this stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if we want them to be like the, like you are the, they are, I mean, they, they have learned a lot of lessons. So I think they have a lot of knowledge to show off, but they've also made a lot of, uh, mistakes too so and i i think people still think they're making mistakes i don't know i haven't really been paying too much attention to the destiny marathon looks awesome i think they said that there's stuff on the website i'm gonna check that out after this yeah it's pretty pretty lame i mean the thing is here i guess here's my thing too is like i feel like sony really because sony didn't do a showcase last year they really set expectations high for this year and ah, i don't know that they delivered again put factions two aside i don't you don't end you don't end with spider-man 2 but I, again you can end with spider-man 2 because it's gonna do great <laughs> that i mean honestly that's probably their perspective is like is like uh spider-man is gonna do all the numbers we need this year <laughs> it'll keep 2023 afloat and then 2024 but i guess we shall see yeah I'm, it's it's a little sad i mean it's it's just we've been down this road so many times it's so hard to show up for these things with this freaking clown makeup on with hope
it's hard to get hope get any hope anymore these days for this game balls are bluer than the evening sky right now but yeah i don't know i mean my hope is that they do something to assure us by the 10 year anniversary i don't know what to expect anymore i don't but i don't think like here's the thing so last week people were saying spider-man 2 was co-op and there was like big big swell of uh of what do you call it like talk about that right so there's big rumors and stuff going around what insomniac did is they went and they said no it's single player even before the showcase they set the expectation ahead of time and that's the kind of thing that naughty dog needs to be doing more of sucker punch did this too with um with sly cooper somebody like there was rumors going around sly cooper's getting another studios get sly cooper something about sly cooper and sucker punch was like no no one's working on Sly Cooper. We're not working on it. No one else is working on it. And they just nipped the rumors in the bud. And so that's where I think Naughty Dog needs to step in. Because right now, and, and this brings me back to one of those Last of Us days where they talked about new content showing up and then they didn't show anything. But they let the rumors run wild. They need to, they need to beef up their communication, be a little bit more transparent. So I'm hoping that by, I hope that by the summer they they do something. But anyways, y'all, it is what it is. We've become hardened. We've done this before. We'll do it again. Just have to believe somehow. It's tough though. <laughs> it's tough when it keeps that when we keep feeling screwed like this. But one day, it's hard to wait, man. I don't think I can sh- I don't think I can like I don't think I can put any hope on Summer Games Fest. I know there's some justification for it, like they showed up last year, but I can't I can't go through this again. It sucks, man. I don't think I can sit here and like stream, uh, you know, get on stream and uh, stream Summer Games Fest like, hey, is it going to happen? That's too tough. This was like the most, I feel like this was the most likely place to show it, but they definitely, the showcase definitely wasn't what I thought they were going to do. It was a lot of third party, a lot, a lot of third party. A lot of things that like, I mean, is it really going to move the needle? It's kind of weird. <laughs> what a kick to the balls. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. I think Naughty Dog just needs to speak. Speak, boy, speak.